If you could follow somebody around for a day in a country that's not your own, what would you find out? This is the question I had in mind when I called my Uncle Tom to see if he wanted to go to Mexico. Tom's a retired school teacher who's been traveling to Mexico for years. He said he knew some people we could drop in on who would probably let us follow them around. Oh, here's the other, here's the other thing. Jose! Jose is a self-employed taco vendor who Tom knows from a previous visit, and we find him in his kitchen getting ready for the day. Italian salsa picante. Ah, uh ah, -huh. eh, eh, chile. Yeah. Si. Para la salsa. Ah, uh, yeah. Si. Si. Ahorita. Hacen, hacen su salsa. Salsa. Si. Olia. Zanahoria. Cilantro. Cilantro. Tomate. Mojarra. 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 Because today is Friday, Jose is making ceviche with raw fish. He gets up at 6 in the morning to start making his tacos, but doesn't go out to sell them until 11. He seems to accept our curiosity about his day and says he doesn't mind if we follow him around with the camera. ¿Y cuándo empecé esta mañana? Empecé desde las. Empieza uno a las 6. De la mañana. Seis de la mañana. Eh, Ahí el todo. Sí, claro. Tema. ¿Mm? Human. Orégano. Es igual en inglés. Mm -hmm. Canela. Canela. Mm. Y vinagre. 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 <coughs> yeah. Semilla y eso. ¿Qué va a hacer con eso? Vacialo en mi botella. Sí. Bastante. Picasso, I prefer working alone or being my own boss because I worked in Guadalajara for 33 years in a factory, in a shoe factory, and uh, this I can call my own shots. I go out in the morning with one basket of 150 tacos and I come back when I run out and make another batch 
uh, of 100 can go out in the afternoon. I'd like to learn how to do something else because it, the, the competition, there's more and more people coming into uh, Tuxla and they're all starting to sell different things. La vida del mexicano es trabajar, trabajar, trabajar. The life of a Mexican is to work and work and work just to survive. It's, it's a jungle out there and uh, we just work to stay level. Our hope is someday to get ahead. We have aspirations of something bigger. But right now it is just, just to get through the, the work. <laughs> In the same blue-collar neighborhood as Jose, we drop in on Julio, who makes his living as a welder, and we find him working in his backyard. I'm very particular about what I do, and I, I take pride in, in, in what I do, and that's why I'd rather work for myself than working just for a big factory. Okay, Salia, no va a estar. <laughs> the people come in and ask for something or whatever they ask me to do, I do it. Anything made out of metal, I, I can do. My vision of this in the future is that I will train other young people who want to do this and I will be the one over them telling them how to do it and I would have, they would be doing the actual work and I would be just their, the boss. Yes, muy bueno. La cintura. Oh, Julio also shows us a workout machine he invented that he uses to keep in shape for what turns out to be his hobby. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's like, it's like uh, wrestling in the United States. It's oh, sort si. of fake. Entiendo. And he's, he's the bad guy. Uh, 